Oh, we love the lens. Oh. Thank you. What is going on everybody? It's Great by the Hour here and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how shooting on well relatively your 50mm focal length it does wonders for you as a photographer and as a filmmaker. So in this video I'm just going to be showing you how I use the Lumix 25mm f1.7 which is a 50mm equivalent on a 35mm um, sensor camera so a full frame camera so i'm just walking to a job so basically i'm just going to be filming the event but while i'm on the way there i'm just going to be doing like a little lifestyle vlog on how i use this lens and this type of pictures that i get with it. so let's get onto the train right now so i'm just on the train right now on my way to london bridge um yeah i'm just i called up my friend alfie as you saw in a couple of vlogs back quantum cars he's a coffee god he's gonna help me film this video but so this is the lumix if you can see the lumix 25 millimeter uh, f1.7 lens it is it's a tiny like compared to my actual head it is quite small but yeah like this lens has helped me quite a bit and i'll put some images right here right now just to show you what kind Damn, of you cold, bro. what are you doing know? Honestly, it's a good lens to use, so I'm going to quickly skip to when I'm in St. Paul's right now. So, we're just at the Boston Coffee Club. Uh, this is a quite a nice place, I might do a video on it. I'm just here with my friend Alfie, uh, the coffee god, and like I said um, when I was on the train, uh, the vlog what I did a couple of weeks ago, that's who he is. So yeah, I'm just um, going to drink a latte, oat milk latte actually, and we're just going to go to St. Paul's right now. So we are here in St. Paul's Cathedral at One New Chain. You can see the builders back behind me. But yeah, the 25mm f1.7 lens is a good lens for the Lumix system. It is really good for portrait photography and landscape photography if you are further back enough. But it also is good for videography. Even though it's not image stabilised, you'll be able to get a lot of good stable shots if you have an image stabilised body or a gimbal or maybe a tripod if you're feeling a little bit creative. But I say if you have like an extra £100 or maybe if you're going to get a filter with it, maybe £150, you'll be able to get good value out of this small lens and it's very compact so you'll be able to throw it into your bag even if you're trying to pack light. So we are just going to go upstairs to show you some footage of this. So we are up on the roof, look how beautiful the scenery is and basically I'm just going to swap to this lens right now. So now we are on the 25mm or 50mm equivalent lens and as you can see it's a lot more tighter. Um, my friend Alfie had to like step back a lot further away but yeah as you can see you get a really good depth of field out of this and it's really good compression so it'll be really good for let's say doing a recap or some extra b-roll footage. As you can see if we walk around just a bit there's a lot um, there's no image stabilization so Alfie's trying his best to be stable. Yeah, like in the actual video. Hi. Hi. What video yeah. are you doing? Uh, just about a new lens, whatever. Oh, we love the lens. Oh, thank thank you. you. Very yeah, cute. Like, as you can see, it's a lot more tighter. Love yeah, it. Yeah. Thank you. As you can see, it's a lot more tighter, and you can, um, it's a lot brighter, especially if it's at f 1.7. It's going to be a lot brighter. So we just have an ND filter on this right now. And I'm just going to cut away to a couple of footages, what I did, and some pictures right now.